Hi, this is Sylvie at the UBC farm doing a carrot evaluation for the Kenobi carrot trials. This part is going to be on evaluating with seed linked for the traits that we are looking at, including appearance, uniformity, marketability, yield, and flavor. Okay, so the first trait we are evaluating is appearance, which ranges from one, which is ugly or off-putting, to five, which is gorgeous. So this variety here, it's important to look at both the ones that you would consider marketable and unmarketable. I've already sorted these for the supplementary data evaluation, but it's important for these ratings to look at everything. So the marketable ones are really nice. There's a little bit of color variation between some like lighter colored roots and ones that are a little more toward medium orange, but really nice shape uniformity. But then we do have these off types. So I'm going to give this, um, I'm going to give it a four, which is consistently appealing because, you know, even these off types, those are saleable given, given the right explanation to the customer. So that's going to be a four for appearance for me. Then this one, um, the ones that I said were marketable, uh, look, look pretty nice. There's a little, um, some kind of tightness toward the taproot in some of them um, and then the ones that I said were unmarketable there's some premature blunting I'm gonna give this one a three that is um, appealing enough for market so like most of these are marketable um, just a little a little more variability um, and not quite the um, like the blunted shape that I would want ideally then this one is a little more challenged. There's um, some of these really deep lenticels. Um, and even on the marketable ones, they're a little rougher. Because there is such a high proportion of, um, of really rough roots in this variety, I'm gonna just give it a two, which is, um, well, you know, a two is just okay. And I guess I do that because there are some roots that are like, are pretty nice, pretty marketable. And then for uniformity, that ranges from one being extremely variable to five being very uniform. Again, I'll give this one a four, which is quite uniform because among the among these roots, there, there's really good uni uniformity in shape, mostly uniform in color with these few off types. So I'll, I'll go quite uniform for that one. For this one, I would give a three for um, acceptable variability. So like there is some variability in shape. Certainly as you get into these, there's some, some early blunting, um, but, but it's, in the, it's in the okay range. And then this one I would uh, give a two, which is quite variable. So for marketability, the range uh, goes from one, which is difficult to sell, to um, five, which is would sell out. And obviously what would sell at your market depends at, depends on your market, whether you're a farmer's market, selling to an institution, um, how, how um, amenable your customers are to variability. For this one, I would say we'd expect strong sales. Um, there's really nice uniformity. It's the shape that we know is accepted at farmer's markets here. So that I'd, I'd give this one a four. This one I'm saying a three, which is appealing enough for market. Um, really nice uniformity in, in those that we've deemed marketable. <laughs> and this one, um, you know, I'm giving it a two because there are enough that are, you know, saleable. They're not beautiful. They're, you know, limited sales. If most of my roots looked like this, it would be a one for sure. Um, because those would be, the, those would be tough to sell. And finally, yield. This is where we look at everything in the bin rather than, uh, I pulled out some examples just to show you shapes of carrots and things like that. So um, in, in the range that I'm seeing here, this one is a five. So that's really good yield. For, this is about uh, nine row feet for us. This one is, um, I gave this a two, which is just okay, but I might give it another try. 
the, the roots are good enough shape that I would, I would test again, but this is not good yield for nine row feet. This one I'm giving a three for sufficient yield because I'm looking at the overall yield, how many roots I got out of the ground rather than marketability. The marketability you are accounting for in the marketability score and then in the supplementary data, um, the marketable versus unmarketable yield. So sufficient yield, but obviously marketability is a problem. And then I'm just taking a slice right about there toward, toward the tip and just cutting a slice and dropping it on the ground. If you do that, cut another slice. And then just tasting. So it's a good idea to try several roots per variety because they may vary from root to root. The flavor score range ranges from one, which is I would not eat it again, to five, which is I would seek it out and rave about it. Then there is a middle ground in there. Um, you are welcome to write us comments about what flavors you tasted. How was the texture? How high was the sweetness for you? Did you taste piney or terpenoidy or um, harsh aromas? I hope this helps. Please let me know if you have more questions about how to evaluate these different things. And really appreciate you taking your time with uh, these carrot trials. I'm seeing a lot of really cool variation between varieties and hopefully we'll have some um, meaningful results to share. Thanks a lot.